Hey everybody! Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, as they soon say. Because now, these will probably be the last chapters before Christmas, or actually they will be. Angry Anime Fan Two here to bring you finally the Fairy Tale Chapter Three One Two. I was actually worried it would it would not come this week. I was surprised to see last week that. Of all manga artists who weren't, went on break, it would be Hiro who would. What are my thoughts about this chapter? I haven't even read the other reviews. But I think I'll take my honest opinion on this one. Awesome. Just plain awesome. The three strongest girls of uh, all the different guilds facing off. Yeah, it turns out Minerva is the strongest wizard in Sabretooth. <laughs> and what about all these rumors about the twin dragons of Sabretooth? I thought they were the strongest. But nah, of course they aren't. And uh, uh, she is, uh, well, she has a grudge against Ersa and Kagura because their guilds have made people lose hope in Sabretooth, she says. And now finally, Kagura asks says in her mind that question we all have been wondering to see. Why, Ersa, are you sheltering Geral? Of course, we didn't get an argument to see why. I get, my guess is, is we probably will never find out, find out uh, Kagura's grudge against Jelal. But whoever, Ersa do not like that Minerva is this confident, but the, it begins. A cat fight <laughs> called a threesome. <laughs> and they all have a pretty fierce attack. And Kagura even shows that she can even deliver powerful kicks. And we get a... And apparently... Am I saying this right? Am I, am I saying this right? Mavis is telling us what kind of magic uh, Minerva is, is. Because we... It's been called... Uh, I mean, I used to call it a dimensional magic, but apparently its name is complicated. I, I have to look this up, I'm sorry. Yukima's magic of the 18 gods of battle. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Probably when the other translation comes out, it will be a different name. Either way, it, this magic is a lot stronger than originally thought. Not only allows it her to teleport capture things in dimension, it also allows her to create immense explosions. But of course, Kagura and Ersa have always been monsters. <laughs> They're okay, even after being caught in a huge explosion. Then, Minerva once again shows a dirty trick. She did a dirty trick when she apparently captured Lecter to hold him ha hostage and to force Sting to win. And when she uh, continues to torture Lucy in the naval battle, Yes, to prove her point. And, and we also get another question answered, because I was wondering, where is Mili, Mili, Miliana? Well, it turns out, she is caught by her. She has trapped her in some kind of bubble prison. Okay, okay, uh, that, okay, okay, I, I admit, that was a bad word, but, but uh, read, that, read that chapter and you know what I mean. She's alive, but apparently her magic is constantly drained. Maybe that's also another secret of her magic. Uh, it's, uh, and maybe that means that uh, once Sting will win or whatever, Lecter will already be dead because apparently her magic can absorb others. Const I mean, constantly they drain their magic ability. With that, Kagura and Ersa. I'm actually surprised Kagura got an angry expression as well. I thought she didn't care about Miliana. But, uh, well, they show an expression that uh, Minerva wanted them to show. She uses underhanded techniques like this. Well, and elsewhere everybody noticed, noticed the explosion. Orga commented the young lady. I mean, why do everybody call her the young lady? What, 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 will, what will that be in Japanese? Young master? No, 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 no probably not. N not Nechan, at least. But we also see one comic scene. It turns out Yuvia and Shilia is having a little bit of a 
catfight. None pun intended. I mean, they're pulling their cheeks in that childish fight. And Sting, well, he's still sitting and is seldom. Elsewhere, back to the royal palace, the princess has explained everything to to uh, Minister of the Left Datum, and he is shocked. He wants every from the Dai Mato Embo to retreat, but they say, but the princess says they can't. It's um. Mm, it's not that easy. Um, she says it's not that easy. She uh, she says that once a certain guild will win, then this future she has told about this person, then it will happen without any. Uh, then it will. Uh, I forget the words, and I need to check all the time. What I'm trying to say is, a certain guild will win with an unbelievable outcome. I mean, they will win by some strange way. And if that will turn out to be true, then the future that that person has told the princess will happen. And then that's the reason why the princess is using this eclipse to uh, the fate of this country. Uh, everything rests within that guild's win. And if that is fair tale, well, then we are in pretty much uh, trouble, aren't we? I hope it's not fair tale who would turn out to be the winner. I mean, I want fair tale to win, but that will only mean that fair tale can defy fate if they turned out not to be the winners. I mean, wouldn't it have been? Uh, uh, Lay me a scale. Lay me a scale. Okay. That's what I was trying to say. If it were them, that would have been better, but because that means fairy tales still have a chance to change this future. I do not like this future storyline. Not because I don't like it, it's because I'm nervous. Can you really change it? Anyway, the anyway she tells that. Uh, because these people, whatever they are, knows the result and if that happens, the princess will open the Eclipse program. Uh, and elsewhere, back in the prison, uh, Natsu is coming asking the, that hooded girl who she is. And suddenly she begins to cry. And she wants them to lend, lend them her strength. Or to lend strength to her. And then the princess reveals what I have been trying to say, that she comes from the future. She takes off her hood. And first, congratulations to everybody who guessed this right, because I too had one of the popular theories that this, that it will be her. And probably you all the rest are pissed off, aren't you? I mean, why did it have to be her? I'm pretty sure you just said that. What I'm trying to say is, she takes off her hood, and she is Lucy. She is Lucy Hartothelia, crying and takes off her hood. It reveals she is from the future. Lucy Hartothelia was the hooded girl. She's Lucy Hartothelia from the future. Everybody gets shocked. And who can blame them? Can fairy tale not save this kingdom? What the hell is this future? Will they lose to destiny? And what do they? And what do future Lucy want with the others? Whatever it is, something tells me the results will not be to our liking. And I'm not telling telling that you despisers will only complain more. No, actually, I think you will be happy because. Uh, it will get in a way where you absolutely despise it. I mean, how you say, yeah, finally did that. But I will probably won't like it because I won't get that happy ending. Whatever they is, whatever Hero has a plan for, we can only read in the hope, can't we? And I recommend you continue reading. The Hooded Girl is revealed as Lucy from the future. Whatever happened in the future, it's not something good. 
Maybe this also means the Rebbe from the future who l wrote that letter. Maybe that's how she could convince everybody of the future by showing everybody this letter. Can the future be saved? Oh, uh, oh yeah, and probably one last thing. Maybe this also shows that Lucy really has feelings for Natsu because remember when she watched the match, she was crying. <laughs> Probably this reveals she does have feelings for Natsu. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Uh, they will make a cute couple. Of course, you, the rest of you, would not like that. Read on Fairy Tale. Can this future really be saved? Actually, isn't our future saved too? I don't mean the world hasn't ended. So uh, let's just read and see. Can a Fairy Tale's fate? is getting close and Ersa please win kick they both these girls asses <laughs>